It was a landmark moment in Australia's relationship with its first people. 25 years ago, Prime Minister Bob Hawke promised a treaty with Aboriginal people at the Barunga Festival. That treaty never came to fruition, but it sparked Yotha Yindi's iconic protest song and a reconciliation movement that continues today. Jano Gibson reports from the Barunga Festival, 400 kilometres south of Darwin. It's an ancient tradition that's as mesmerising as ever. An intoxicating mix of dust, dance and didgeridoo. Hundreds of people have travelled from across Australia for a festival celebrating Indigenous culture. We're all sharing together and, you know, having a good time, happy times. It was in this same community that Bob Hawke famously declared a new era in Aboriginal relations. There shall be a treaty. Two years later, there was no deal on the table and an anthem for reconciliation was released. Tributes have flowed at the festival following the death of Yothu Yindi lead singer Mr M Unipingu. Yes, there's no treaty, but at the same time, uh, reconciliation is now part of what we do, whereas then it was just talked about. Times have changed. This year's festival was opened by the Territory's first Indigenous Chief Minister. What Barunga is, it's a celebration of Indigenous culture, sharing that culture with the wider Territory and interstate community. But for some Barunga residents, the fight isn't over. Yeah, there's been enough, but we still need more. The Barunga Festival isn't just about politics. Out-of-towners can learn the art of didge-making. There's even a crash course in Creole language. With or without a treaty, the bar for reconciliation has been set higher for future generations of Indigenous Australians. Jano Gibson, ABC News, Barunga.